It was one of the provinces of two regions that did not deliver victory for him in last year's presidential polls. Yet this did not cross the president's mind when he made his way to Albay to check on his fellow countrymen in refuge and see them in good LGU and national government care that our Mark Fatalko details in this report live. Good evening, Mark. Charms the uh, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. assured the preparedness of different agencies and local government units here in Albay on the possible effects of Mayon volcano eruption. In a situation briefing with some cabinet members, regional directors and local officials here in Albay, President Marcos said the response to Mayon so far has been satisfactory. During the said briefing, Albay Governor Grex Lagman reported to the President that a total of 15,241 individuals have been evacuated from the 23 affected barangays. But in the, but in the event of Mayon Volcano Alert Level 4, more than 33,000 people may be forced to leave their homes. He said a total of more than 196 million pesos will be needed to respond to the Mayon Volcano's unrest within 90 days. The president asked officials to study the said amount, especially that the, that the local government's 30 million pesos allotment from the quick response fund can only last for 14 days. I think that the response that we have uh, put together uh, is satisfactory, that we were able to prepare and uh, we were able to uh, achieve so far uh, yung, uh, uh, sinasabi ng province that uh, walang casualty uh, patuloy natin we will follow that uh, we will follow that principle in everything that we are doing minimum is going to be 45 days uh, and possibly it will be 90 days we're talking six weeks we're talking to six weeks to 12 weeks this is not a, this is not a short time let us be prepared to take as much of the load as soon as possible off of the uh, local government units. Para naman uh, meron sila malay natin magkabagyo pa, ma may mangyari pa. Para meron silang reserba pa. Hindi natin uubusin yung kanilang uh, quick response fund. The president added, it is important to provide activities or classes for children to keep them preoccupied in the evacuation centers. The DepEd said they already have a scheme on how students could continue learning while they are in the evacuation centers, such as modular distance learning. The agency has already sourced out temporary learning shelters that will be given by the UNICEF and will be set up in the evacuation centers so that the school facilities can still be used to conduct classes. Meanwhile, the Department of Labor and Employment said the TUPAD program is already in place where the evacuees will be given salaries in exchange of their services, including vegetable gardening, maintenance, cleanliness, and beautification of the evacuation sites, and assist in the food preparation for the evacuees. In the past 24-hour period, the FIVOX recorded more of volcanic earthquakes, rockfall events, and pyroclastic density current. On the other hand, the sulfur dioxide emission dropped to 149 tons from the previous 723 tons. Dahil biglang bumaba yung sulfur dioxide, baka sinyalis na ito na uh, papunta na siya dun sa tinatawag nating mas uh, uh, aktibo or more uh, explosive na uh, eruption kung saan meron tayong mga malalaking pagputok. While the Mayon volcano remains at the alert level 3, the FIVOX said the volcanic activity could take weeks or months. Hanggat meron po kaming nakikitang uh, kumaga, eh, uh, hindi normal sa uh, parameter, um, hindi po namin ibababa. Dahil uh, may, hindi, hindi lang kami kailangan tumingin sa isang parameter, kailangan tingnan namin yung buong, ano, buong uh, datos. Meanwhile, the DSWD said that for 90 days, 153,000 family food packs are needed, but these are already on the ground. And that's the latest. Back to you, Charms. Many thanks, Mark Fitalko.